Good morning, guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 8. Oh, Christmas tree. Kenny G Christmas music, highly suggest. It's all instrumental, good jazz. My dad randomly texted me this morning and was like, tell Alexa to play that. And I did, and it's such a vibe. I feel like I'm in a Christmas coffee house. Um, I don't know, I'm really, really enjoying it. Making a little breakfast. I'm gonna do some toast with an egg, I guess. I don't even know. I wasn't really thinking what I was just doing. I showered my spray tan off. It looks a lot better. And I washed my hair. Today I have a lot of computer work to do and I would rather get it done in a shorter amount of time. And while I love my apartment, I've been passing by a lot of coffee shops lately in the West Village that I'm like, oh, I should like do work there. I should do work there. And I'm like, why don't I just go do it? You know, like sometimes I feel kind of unmotivated here. I really, I think I've created, curated a great space for myself. But every now and then, you know, I still... I'm like, oh, I kind of wish I had somewhere to go. So I was like, let me go to a coffee shop today and get some work done. I actually went on TikTok and I, someone told me that recently. Like when you're trying to find a new restaurant to go to in New York, whatever, don't like Google it because it's always the same things. Go on TikTok and literally look up what you're looking for. So I looked up um, coffee shop laptop work or coffee shops to do work in New York City so many TikToks of like places you can like bring your laptop because actually a lot of places in New York they have no laptop rules it's I get it they're trying to curate the vibes but like I feel like that's why half the people go to coffee shops but I could be wrong um and uh yeah so I found a few one is called Cobrick Coffee one is called Saint Jardine or Saint Jardine I pass by that a lot and then the other one that I'm really interested in is called Daily Provisions my toaster. So they're all in the West Village. I, I'm gonna probably walk to whichever one is closest and then go from there because there might not be seating, you know? I don't really know. A lot of people work from home these days and go to coffee shops. But yeah, so I'm gonna get some work done there. I have like end of the year taxes stuff to do, campaigns to do emails back for. We're planning our New Year's thing. So like working on some logistics for that. Live show is tomorrow. The gals on the go. First New York City live show is tomorrow. The next one is next Saturday. And I'm still rolling with what I said in yesterday's vlog. Like, why waste my days being so nervous when I could be excited? Everything's in place. Like, there is nothing I can do at this point, you know, other than show up tomorrow and bring the proper things I needed to bring. Like, Let's just have some fun. Let's take some fireball shots, you know? That's kind of where my headspace is at. I think it's healthy. I think it's a good headspace to be in. And yeah, I'm in a good mood because I'm tan. I love being tan. Uh, this shirt is from Revolve. I showed it in my haul last night. Oh, the eggs are cooking. Uh, I love it. I'll link it below again tomorrow because it's such a good basic. I'm really into the like jeans with like a long shirt kind of. I love a crop. I still love a crop, but I'm kind of into this. And then I'm wearing my baggy jeans from Good America, and I will also link them below because I wear them all the time. But yeah, I need to like figure out. I'll probably go to the coffee shop with like semi wet hair um, so that I can be dry for later because tonight we have an event with Tori Birch, which I'm really excited about. They said something about Sydney Sweeney on it, but I don't know if she's gonna be there. I feel like she's not. And then um, my high school New York City reunion event. It's like all years, it's not just my year. They just do this every now and then. So I went to private school, so they like do this a lot, I feel. I don't really know, but I'm excited. And my best friend Caitlin just flew into New York City this morning. She's at her sister's working. Um, and I think I might bring her to the Tory Burch event, which would be fun. And then we're going to the high school thing together because we went to high school together. And she flew in for my event though, for my live show tomorrow. So I'm excited. A good weekend is upon us. I love Thursdays. They're my favorite day. Happy Vlogmas. Oh, I didn't do my advent calendar. We'll do it later since I'm about to leave. In a good mood. I'm 
finally here. I am cramping so bad. Like I can't even stand up to go do things in a sec. So I'm just like giving myself a second. You know, it comes in waves. Eating an apple because one of my avocados fell on the floor. Like one half of the avocado fell on the floor. And I do a five second rule, but not when it's like a wet, like, like it's, like if it's something that's kind of, not the avocado's wet, but you know, it's juicy-ish. I don't really know how to explain it. So when it lands on the floor, it collects things. Whereas like if it was a chip, I'd probably eat it. I don't know, does that make sense? My eggs, cause I was talking to you guys, I burnt them. So they weren't even, I like my eggs over medium. They weren't even yolky. They were literally like burnt. It barely tasted good. So I had the toast and the half avocado and like the yolks. So I was like, I need an apple. And then I'm gonna go. Um, but I just went on my phone and Julia and Hunter Haven just announced that they're pregnant. And I'm literally, I, I saw that and I've known Julia for a while and I've started like watching their vlogs recently and I'm like, I feel like I'm a part of the family. I'm so happy for them. Like that is so exciting. If you guys watch that, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm sharing this moment with you guys because I just found out and now I'm like, whoa crazy so happy for them so okay i am still cramping the thought of going for a walk right now is just tough so i'm just gonna do a little of the work now um because i was waiting i usually post my vlogmas like as soon as i wake up and it's giving me anxiety that it's 11 a.m and it's not up so i am just gonna do that part here because me then maybe by the time that's done i'll be good to go <laughs> if you have cramps you get it all right here is the coffee shop fit Bringing my tote bag, this tank I showed you guys earlier. This is an amazing warm shacket. It's like 50 degrees. I think I'm gonna throw on a scarf as well. Hair is still wet. I don't feel like drying it. I'm just gonna let it air dry. It's gonna be something else. By the time I leave the coffee shop, my hair will look completely different. Uh, jeans, good American. This is just comfortable, but I wanted to kind of dress up-ish. And then my new Converse. They're brown and they're really fun and they're so, so comfortable. All right, let's get a move on, friends. Let's do this. I got a lot of work done, but they didn't have a bathroom and after a certain point I just couldn't do it anymore So we're gonna go say hi to Ryan and I'm gonna use this bathroom Back now hung out with Ryan he was on his lunch break, so it kind of worked out He handed me his Santa hat and asked if I would wash it for him for the live show because he doesn't have a washer and dryer in his unit so i was like i can just throw it in with my load because live shows tomorrow i'm like wow priorities here so if you guys are going to the live show to, well if you guys are watching this on friday tonight you can find ryan he'll be in the sand hat um so i'm gonna watch that but i'm gonna make some lunch now if you guys watched a couple of vlogs ago i made sub sauce submarine sauce su sauce for um Sandwiches and it's not mixing very well right now. I'm gonna have to get in there and mix but So good, so I'm gonna make a cauliflower thin sandwich with turkey lettuce tomato and Sprouts and the sub sauce and it was fire fire flames Let's do this Okay, sandwich was amazing. Got some alcohol for my party on Saturday. I'm trying to do as much as I can today, so tomorrow I can just like chill and get ready for the show. I don't drink much tequila, but I wanna have some on hand. I wanna be a proper host. Um, so I got 818, I got Tito's because, oh, thank you all for your opinions on which drink I should make. I got this big drink dispenser. I'm gonna do like the cranberry ginger ale punch thing and I'm gonna buy cranberries but first we went to the liquor store and I got a ton of rumple peppermint schnapps 
I need to go buy chocolate sauce as well because you basically put the chocolate sauce in your mouth first and then like a shot of this and it literally is so good and it's fun at a party. So I just like saw this for myself. So I'm slowly getting the bar ready over here. I'm excited to host. I haven't, actually I did host here once, like I don't know, five or six of my friends. So I'm excited to have a good amount of people here. Um, Ryan actually was like, what you should do is to, he wants to like move my couch so it's this way just for the party. So it's more open here, but my, I just don't see that happening. But I thought it was a sweet idea. Wait, why is the backlight in here kind of a vibe? It's glowy. I'm on Chick-fil-A's website right now. I'm gonna get a tray of Chick-fil-A nuggets and then I'm like tempted to get some mac and cheese too. But I don't know, I feel like when people are at a party they're not like, people just gonna have to eat before. I think mac and cheese, like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get crudite, I'm gonna get Chick-fil-A nuggets and like a cheese board. I think I'm gonna get pre-made cheese board because because so I'm gonna go to a grocery store now to see if I can find that but I'm just setting up the chick-fil-a thing I think I'm just gonna get the nuggets that's all I need and then I'm getting chick-fil-a sauce with that because I know everyone loves chick-fil-a sauce I'm writing down what I need to get at the store right now chocolate syrup limes cranberries for like decor crudite cheese tray chip salsa and like some sort of sweet treat like I was saying before okay the lighting was good and now it's not sorry about that guys um, it's almost four o'clock already. The day has just escaped us. I need to start getting ready because my event that I'm going to is at six, but I would like to go get this stuff done. Feeling good. Headed to the grocery store now. These aloe bags have gotten me so far with groceries and just like transporting stuff when we go podcast or whatever, like tomorrow to the show, I'm probably gonna bring these. They're just so nice and roomy. So I'm gonna bring two in case I also wanna have like some beer and some seltzers in case I'm in the mood to get those as well right now. Not really sure my mood. Also depends on, like is it colder now outside? I don't really know, but. Also I have a ton of extra tote bags I went through. I have this cabinet right here full of tote bags and I there's it's still full after even going through. And I was talking to my mom about it and I was like, do you think like Goodwill would use these? Because I know our local thrift stores, they like to give things to people in bags. So I thought it'd be cool to donate a ton of tote bags so they could use them um, as like shopping bags from people shop there. Um, so I'm gonna see right now if they'll take it. I'm officially bag lady here. I have literally probably like 30 tote bags on me. <laughs> Hopefully they will take these because then I have to come back and do something else with them. That made my day. It made her day. She was like, oh my gosh, everyone's going to be so excited to use these nice bags when they shop. Good deed of the day. I got groceries and then I found my summer Fridays lip balm I was looking for. That's always exciting. Um, I got another Christmas tree scented candle. This is from the brand Soap and Paper Factory Roland Pine. I just, you can only burn Christmas tree scents, you know, during this time of year. Well, it's not like a law, but you know, you only kind of do. And my other one ran out and I just want to burn it. I want to smell the Christmas tree scent and I want to burn this on the day of my party. So I got that. I was semi-successful. I got some of the things I needed. I got two things of Hershey's chocolate syrup for the peppermint schnapps, that was perfect. I got a ton of limes because a lot of my friends love to do like, you know, tequila soda lime. I do vodka soda lime. Um, and then I got a thing of cranberries to put on the top of the drink, like as decor. And then I also got this little thing of sweet treats because it was like decorated and it had sprinkles. Hopefully they're actually good. They're from like a nice bakery. So that's what I got. I feel like the holiday season is so much consumption of things. Um, but I'm really, really excited. Now I'm going to chill for a little bit. 
and start getting ready for the night. I'm excited to like finally get dressed up. Cause even last night, I guess I got dressed up last night, but I didn't put on makeup, do the hair, all the things. Just kidding. She's a gal on the go today. My wallet is like, oh my God. No, this is definitely necessary. So Brooke and I were just kind of doing a run through of everything we need to bring for the show tomorrow. And it's crazy to me that the theater needs us to bring this. I'm like, don't you guys run into this all the time? You should just get one. But they need us to bring an HDMI output cord to connect to our computer. Because we have some, like, we have, like, a slideshow. We have, like, all kinds of things that we're putting audio and video during the show. An experience, if you will. So they want us to bring that. And we have an HDMI input cord, but it said HDMI out. And I just like feel like that's not what we have. And Brooke and I were kind of like, let's bring everything you could possibly need. And if anything, I'll return things. Like I would rather, we'd rather just come prepared than tomorrow we get there and like, that's not the right cord. Like that, no, we're gonna be prepared. So the beauty of my new apartment, I'm very central. I can get north, south, east, west so fast. So I'm gonna go to Best Buy and then I'll come back and start getting ready. Okay, it's time to get ready. Also, I'm just laughing because last night I filmed a Revolve haul in my vlog and I was like, I'm gonna put everything away now. I didn't, I fully didn't. I put one thing away and then someone called me and I just didn't. And I should have just kept doing it because when I'm on the phone with someone, I get so much done. Like if I'm cleaning my apartment and podcasts aren't fulfilling me and I'm getting bored while cleaning, I'll call someone that I haven't talked to in a while and oh my gosh, things happen so fast. So we have Tory Burch event and high school thing. I really can't have more than like two drinks. Like realistically, I'm gonna have one drink at this thing. I don't wanna be an ounce hungover. <laughs> at all i also like didn't finish getting all the drinks and all the food for saturday but tomorrow i'm actually gonna go to face gym in the morning which i'm really excited about show day <laughs> i'm really excited i also kelly is doing my makeup and she was like what do you want to do for glam and i was like i don't even know like i never know and i know makeup artists like when you give them inspo and i never do or i i always do but i always forget until the last minute because i just trust them I'm just like make me look pretty you know i'll probably just do like a you know, fun, glowy makeup, but also like good for on stage, the theater. Like, I don't know, just like a bronze eyeshadow look I'm wearing. I still don't know what I'm wearing tomorrow. I have two outfits. I just haven't decided what my mood is tomorrow. Like, is it one of the outfits? Like, one's a dress and one's a blazer suit, and I actually ordered one more like pantsuit with feathers. <laughs> ah, and I don't know which one I want to wear when, because the third one hasn't come in, so I can't decide. Because I love the dress, and I love the pantsuit I have now, but the other- I don't know. These are all amazing problems to have. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I just can't believe it. And I have people starting to text me like, you excited for tomorrow? I'm like, holy shit, it's happening tomorrow. Um, while we're on that topic, I get nervous to curse sometimes. And it's not like I curse. Like, I say bad words in real life. I am 24 years old. One of my favorite words is the F word, but I've had people message me recently, like, you have to give warnings if you're gonna say bad words like whatever. I'm like, I'm 24 I'm Like come on. Don't Don't do this to me Like I'm I'm starting to finally open up more on the internet and like feel more comfortable and then I say the F word and people are gonna be mad at me I'm sorry like It's not fair <laughs> Like when I was younger, that's what I love about my audience, you know, so many of you guys were 15 when I was 15 and now a lot of you are I'd say between the ages of like 18 and 28, I don't really know. Like my demo, that's what my demographics say. That's kind of like where you guys are at. But I know I obviously have younger and older, but I feel like not a lot of people in high school watch me anymore. Comment down below if you're, if you're in high school and watch me. If you're in middle school and watch me. Cause I understand that. If I have middle schoolers watching me, I'm not gonna like say all the bad words, but I really don't think I do. I don't know, that's like a random thing. <laughs> Like, none of my other friend, influencer friends get messages like this, but it's it's like a joke. It's like Danielle would be the one to get the messages about saying bad words, so. And I respect people's requests, obviously, but then, I don't know, like, I need to be real. I'm really excited for tonight. I'm really excited for this weekend. I am just going to continue doing my makeup, and I'll check in with you guys when I get dressed. The dress is a little shorter on than expected. I'm like, oof, I don't know. This is cute for Tory Burch, but for school, I can't tell. Like in the back, it's fine. It's just in the front, it kinda, 
you know, I don't want it to be too short. These are the amazing Tony Bianca, um, Tony Bianco boots that Matilda Jurf inspired all of us to get. Uh, I really wanted to wear this dress. I just need to like walk around a little and see if it rides up when I walk. I mean, it's, it's up there. It's up in the crotch. Uh. Okay, I decided I'm wearing this dress because I think it's really cute and I just tied this even a little bit lower. Um, and it just might be one of those nights I pull it down, you know? I'm really okay with it. I think it's so cute. I think it's very appropriate still on like the back. Again, we're good. Love the boots. And I'm just gonna wear like a trench coat over top because it's like a little bit chillier outside now. And then, same jewelry. I have gum in. Sorry about that. But yeah. I am so excited to see Caitlin and to go to this Tory Burch event. I've never um, gone to an event for Tory Burch and like I've worn a lot of Tory Burch in my life, at least shoes and bags. So excited to go. I wonder if she'll be there. And yeah, we'll just take the night away. I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can. Cheers! I love even the elevator. We're vibing. Chocolate and marshmallow. So cute. Oh my gosh, this is everything I need. This is so cute. Oh, hello. Nice. We are at Lure Fish Bar now. I've always wanted to come here, even though I don't like fish. It's a vibe. It looks like a boat. It does look like a boat in here. I'm loving it. Look at Caitlyn's sushi <laughs> versus mine. I don't eat seafood, so I got the um, cucumber bowl. It's so depressing. I need to start liking seafood. This is like, this is just sad, really. I am home. It literally feels like Christmas Eve. And tomorrow is the live show. Tonight was so lovely. It was so nice to see all my friends and some more too, just like people that I went to high school with, like old teachers, like my old AP lit professor. He, I didn't even think he remembered me. Like it was like an honor. He, he knew, you know, everything about my podcast and everything. And I was telling him about the live show tomorrow and he's like, ah, grammar. He's like from New York. It was just so cool. So very happy I went. I didn't even drink there. I literally held water. It was, it was good vibes. <clears throat> and... Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed, get some good night's sleep. Gonna go to the face gym in the morning and get my face all snatched. And other than that, I like literally can't believe tomorrow's the show. Like it's happening, like tomorrow. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with the special live show vlog. Bye guys. <laughs>